Hey everyone, welcome to Decoding Studio and uh, today we are going to discuss about TDD in React Native. So TDD stands for Test Driven Development and we will see how we can include this TDD in our React Native project and we will discuss various, uh, various advantages of TDD as well. So basically I have uh, uh, divided this whole course into four chapters and first chapter will contain introduction part and uh, I have a plan for uh, next chapters as well. So I'm going to discuss it with you. So please be with me. So as I've mentioned, uh, first uh, chapter is introduction. So uh, this chapter will contain uh, what is TDD, why we need that and how we are going to implement that TDD in our React Native project. And uh, we have a second chapter as well. And in second chapter uh, is like we will cover unit test cases so in unit test cases we will uh, have an introduction of unit test and uh, as we are going to use a jest so we will see how we can uh, set up jest in our react native project and uh, after that we will uh, write a test cases and we will test function using unit test then we have a third chapter in third chapter we have a component testing and uh, in component testing we will have an introduction of uh, introduction of component test cases and uh, as uh, we have a react native uh, testing library to test a component then uh, we will see how we can set up that library react native testing library and uh, we will try to uh, you know uh, test component so basically uh, React in React Native, we have all components, so we deal with the components, so we have to test that components. Uh, that's uh, we'll cover in re uh, component testing uh, chapter third, and uh, in fourth chapter we have a uh, end-to-end testing. Again, this is a very important part of uh, uh, testing uh, in React Native, and uh, in this chapter we will see. Uh, uh, introduction of end-to-end -end testing and after that uh, we are going to use a detox for end-to-end -end testing so we'll see how we can set up a uh, detox in our react native project then we'll uh, uh, we'll write case to test end-to-end uh, -end test what is TDD TDD stands for test driven development TDD is a practice of writing a test case for a piece of required functionality before writing and implementation of code. So first rule of TDD is you have to first write your test case and after that uh, you have to follow those test cases and based on that the, those test cases you have to write or implement your code. So yeah, TDD is a discipline and uh, I know initially it will take time and your uh, maybe your project manager or your client are going to pressurize you for that and uh, but you have to make them understand that this is very important for long run and uh, it will save your time in future and I'll, i'm going to explain uh, all uh, benefits of uh, having a tdd in your code in next slide as well so but uh, before moving that you have to uh, you know uh, keep that in your mind that if you are writing your test cases after writing your code then there's no any benefit there's no any fun of uh, you know writing tdd don't use tdd in, co in in your code so it's only beneficial if you are writing uh, your test cases first and after that you are uh, you know writing your code so that's uh, all about uh, tdd and uh, uh, why we need TDD and what are the uh, various benefits of you having a TDD in our code? So here are uh, you know few uh, I have mentioned here. Writing the test first requires you to really consider what you want from the code. So if you are writing your uh, test cases uh, first, so then uh, definitely you have a clear picture of your uh, you know all the use cases or acceptance criteria that you have for a particular feature and uh, you can write a better code uh, based on those you know test cases second is you receive fast feedback yes tdd creates a detailed specification again uh, if you are writing a test cases then you have a detailed uh, picture of your uh, you know uh, your uh, uh, feature and you can write a better code tdd reduce time spent on rework yeah 
sometimes uh, uh, you start uh, writing a code before having you know uh, actual knowledge of your uh, feature or your task and uh, after that you have to do uh, some uh, you know uh, spend time to rework those so uh, TDD helps you in that as well you are able to identify the error and problem very quickly yeah again you have a uh, test cases and based on test those test cases you can you know uh, easily identify the error in a you know first stage and uh, whenever you will uh, have any error or problem then you exactly know where it it is and you will uh, fix it quickly so that's our uh, all about uh, benefits of having tdd in your code and uh, how we are going to implement uh, tdd in our react native project so basically we have already discussed it uh, we are going to write a unit test cases uh, so unit test cases is uh, totally you know independent from react js and uh, react native code so it's it is to test uh, you know uh, function and plain javascript object we have a component testing so uh, we will uh, test react js and react native component uh, using component testing and uh, last but not the least end to end testing so end to end testing is go uh, is going to help us uh, you know test whole app from a uh, start to end uh, we will write uh, test cases for that as well so we are going to uh, cover these three things uh, things in our uh, next three chapters so that's all about the uh, introduction part of uh, uh, tdd thank you thank you for watching